just jumping in here at the beginning to let you know that if what you're really interested in is just my thoughts on this whole time tracking thing, then you are welcome to jump to this time and I will be talking about it there. Hi everybody, I'm Angela and this is an accountability and time tracking vlog. This weekend I planned to start time tracking for sort of the work week, I guess. I went through and I made sort of little charts for each day and was all ready to start and then this morning completely forgot. My initial response when I remembered at like noon as I was making lunch that this was something that I was intending to do was to just sort of give up on it entirely for today and then start tomorrow. But like I don't want to give up today. The reason I'm not getting stuff done is just like poor time management on my part. Like I woke up and started YouTube spiraling immediately, which I know better than to do, especially on a Monday morning. So I think that having some structure will hopefully be good. I did a little bit of time tracking last week and it felt sort of like a helpful tool rather than something that was stressful or counterproductive. But if it does reach a point where I feel sort of beholden to this in a way that feels kind of cruel to myself or not actually productive, then I will stop doing it. I haven't written at all in the last week. Yeah, I was going to try and put a spin on that or like provide context, but there's not really context. I have my writing group a week from tomorrow, so I do need to go through and do my edits on my first two chapters and then revise my next two chapters to get into my critique partners, which I'm very glad I have that structure. <laughs> but there's other projects now that I like really want to be working on and I'm planning on doing NaNoWriMo in July, like an actual new novel, 50,000 word NaNoWriMo. So I also need to start figuring out what I'm going to do for that. Which is intimidating because, like I'm not, I've talked about in the past, I'm not a person with a million ideas, I'm a person with a couple ideas. I've got like a couple of ideas that I'm excited about but they're not fleshed out at all and they also require more world building than this last one did, which is something that makes me very nervous, which is why I just sort of didn't do it, but right, like we're doing these things to grow. So, overall I think it'll be good. I'll probably check in later today. Mostly today's tracker has been pretty sad so far, not gonna lie. Although I did spill something that I then had to like desperately clean up. So that was 20 minutes productively spent. It's about 1.30 now and I've been writing pretty much since I last checked in, which is great. It means that um, time tracking is helping me be more intentional, which is what I'm hoping it'll do. So that's exciting. I am officially like into the revisions based on my critique partner's feedback for my first chapter. In some ways it's really encouraging because like this is the portion that they saw both versions of and there's things like the character that I could not write in the first draft. The people that were most like vocal about that problem are saying that he's improved so that's very encouraging. It's definitely been tricky though as well just in terms of figuring out what am I gonna do with comments? How am I gonna like take that feedback, I guess? So I've got like the notes from our discussion and then also people make like sort of line notes on the documents as well. How do I incorporate all of that stuff, especially because they're reading it in sort of chapter pairs and so my comments are in chapter pairs. I think part of the reason I hadn't written in a week is that this is the first time I've done this kind of thing. So it was more intimidating than I was giving it credit for and so I was procrastinating a little bit. Overall, I'm feeling really good about the revision so far. With the exception, so like my first paragraph is still so bad. <laughs> That's not entirely fair. I feel like my first paragraph is so bad and there are definitely problems with it. In particular, um, we were all discussing sort of signaling genre in my opening paragraph. Um, I've got like, for want of a better word, I guess, like supernatural things happening pretty early on, like within the first 500 words, but not before that. And it's one of those things where like, obviously the first paragraph of a story needs to be strong. And if I was like planning on going through and querying and doing all of that stuff with this, then I would definitely be fixing it. But it's so bad and I've already tried really hard and I don't know how to fix it. And so I think we may just leave it. Overall, this is a good mix of like fun and frustrating, which probably means that I'm learning, which is great. Um, and in terms of the time tracking element, it is making me behave like a person. I'm really good at like trying stuff out at first and then immediately abandoning them. So it works really well for a little bit. Um, we'll see how much mileage I can get out of this, but it would be great if I could do stuff. That'd be real convenient. So my very talented roommate figured out not only how to make scones, but how to make clotted cream. 
which is tricky in the U.S. because we pasteurize everything. But I have a scone and I have tea. And it's raining. It is Wednesday evening, about 8 o'clock. Yesterday, I guess, was objectively a failure by the standards of this video because I neither hour tracked nor wrote at all. Like, I got good stuff done yesterday, so I actually feel sort of okay about it. The thing that makes me a little bit more apprehensive is that I've got a period of at least three and a half months of unstructured time moving forward because it's going to be summer and then depending on where the whole pandemic situation is, possibly more. And I was really hoping that I could use sort of this to implement strategies and experiment with different things to like make myself be more productive. I did start hour tracking today. Um, what I've seen sort of both days is that I've kind of like fallen off in the evening after dinner. So this was like Monday. And then that's the beautiful Tuesday and then this is today. Like I got up and I ran and then I went straight into work, which was sort of my goal. And then I ended up doing all of the editing and stuff that I need to for writing as well. So that's really encouraging. And I'm hoping that that sort of continues moving forward. I do think that this has been a useful structure. When I'm making myself do it, it just forces me to be more intentional with my time and thinking about like, what am I still working on right now? Writing wise, my biggest problem is definitely that I'm in sort of this transition period. My writing group meets every two weeks and so I'm theoretically revising for them, but it's taken me a week to get through the revisions that I needed to, both like incorporating their comments and then getting the next two chapters ready to send, which is worrisome because I do wanna be doing more and especially I'm planning on doing NaNo in July and that means that I have to start planning a whole new book Part of I think what's happening here, because I'm trying to identify as I go through this, is I do think that there's like sort of a procrastination. And I think that I'm just like in a weird space where everything I'm doing is technically stuff that I've done before, right? Like I have now written a novel, which is very cool, but I've done that one time. And I think that it takes a few times to reach a point where you like are comfortable with the thing. And I've never transitioned out of one big project into another thing. So I'm definitely, I'm like scrabbling a little bit. I mean, the hope is that if you identify it right, then you can move forward. So that is what I am doing. Hopefully tomorrow I will write. <laughs> it's just so easy to like make narratives in which I'm like, oh, but I need to do other things. I do have things I'm excited about. Hopefully I do them. It is Wednesday at like 1 p.m. And this morning was really good and really productive. I've actually been really good about like a, getting up at a reasonable time and be actually time tracking in the way that I'm supposed to. It is when I'm doing it really helpful because it's forcing me to like think about what am I doing and coming back to things. For the last hour I think I just wrote like sad scrabbling where like I'll sort of start doing something like cleaning or looking at a writing book or lord even knows and then not really getting anything done. It's really hard to transition into a project because I know I need to make myself write, but I don't know what I need to be writing. And I think this is why last time I found time tracking at this stage really helpful because I just like spent time brainstorming and doing that work. So part of me is like, I should just start time tracking and then spending time with these different ideas. Cause I've got like maybe, yeah, I've got like three separate ideas that I think could maybe be novels, but they're not, they're like super amorphous, and like vague premises for the most part. This is not a part of the writing process that I really know how to do. And that's really frustrating. But I do have a short story that I wrote a while back and I recently figured out like a way that I could change the plot to make it work better because it was like, it was basically like a magic system I'd had for like ages and then I was like, oh wait, you could move it into a setting that like is actually good because it was, it was in like generic business world. Cause I initially wrote this when I was like 19 and so I was like very enamored by like office culture, which as someone who's never worked in an office, I guess I sort of still am. No one cared. That's not a fun setting. So I've like shifted into like more of a Western setting. So anyway, like I had this magic system and then I like moved into a world that worked and I had a character that I think was really interesting. But basically in the story, I like wanted this one like really dramatic plot thing to happen and that was what I was writing the story about. 
and in retrospect like that makes no sense for the character like it definitely is a really interesting thing that would could happen with that magic and with that world and since then I've sort of like thought about ways to take sort of the trappings of the plot and change the central conflict in a way that actually allows the main character to make a choice which would be great so I might go back and rewrite that the problem is that it's just like our tracking feels like the solution at this point but I really don't want to because I just worked so hard to stop doing that. It's about 1.30 on Friday afternoon and I am finally writing. So I'm working on editing the story that I was thinking about and I do think that my solution for the plot is way better. So that is exciting. I'm thinking I need to rewrite as I go again because it's just, it's hard for me to make the changes that I need to make. Although maybe I need to just reread it first. I don't know. I don't want to have to retype it again. I already did that for the novel revision. I'm nervous that this is just my process. I don't want this to be my process. I don't like it, but if it's what needs to happen, I guess it's what needs to happen. Wrap up time. I wanted to talk a little bit about what this week was like and sort of my takeaways of it. This was definitely a mixed success in that I feel like objectively it was sort of a failure. I didn't time track at all on Tuesday and I never time tracked for the full day. But that said, I found it really beneficial and I really enjoyed it and appreciated it and I feel like I got out of it what I was hoping to get out of it. Basically what I was hoping that this would do is that keeping track of my time would allow me to get a little bit more structure back in my day and that absolutely happened, especially in sort of the mornings. It meant that I was using my time in a better and more productive way and I don't necessarily mean productive here in the like, now we must get all the things done because quarantine has to be like the most efficient thing that you've ever done. I mean it more in the context of things that are positive or useful or good for me. The thing that I really appreciated was how it felt like it gave me sort of handholds into the day. So if there came a point around like the afternoon or whatever where I felt like things were sort of slipping and I was shifting into like either just sitting there sadly or being on the internet in ways that were corrosive rather than helpful. It gave me ways to sort of recalibrate and be like, okay, so maybe that's what I was doing with the last half hour, but what am I gonna do with this half hour? It also helped me get back into writing. Before this week, I hadn't written at all coming out of camp. And again, a lot of the problem, which I talked about, is that I'm just really having difficulty transitioning between projects. And so I think that having this level of accountability was really helpful in navigating that. And that's still sort of a struggle that I feel like I'm in, not past but overall it was definitely beneficial. Moving forward, I think I might continue doing this. I am about to start having even less structured time once distance learning wraps up in about a week and a half, and there's things that I wanna get done both writing-wise and also for my job. So this really did feel like a helpful structure. I don't regret not time tracking in the afternoons, but I think I might try on weekdays during the day tracking my time maybe every hour instead of half hour, although we might keep it half hour, I'll see. Um, but it did feel like it added a level of accountability and sustainability for me that was really, really valuable and also honestly has helped me to differentiate between the week and the weekend because I haven't time tracked this weekend. Definitely the other thing with time tracking that didn't really happen here is that often it's used sort of for stats so that you can figure out how much time you're spending on different things. Definitely stats curious and I think I would be interested in that. I would definitely need to do a better job of being consistent with time tracking for that. Um, so we might build up to that. I'll see. But for me right now, definitely it's more about having accountability and giving myself a series of little starts throughout the day so that I have more chances if I mess up once or twice. Overall, I feel like it was really positive. I'm definitely, as we move into the abyss that is summer, trying to figure out what are structures that are going to support me both as a human person that needs to continue to be and also as someone that would like to have done things both professionally and creatively. So I think that this has been a really useful tool and I do think I'm gonna keep trying it going forward. If you've ever tried time tracking or you have opinions on it, please let me know down in the comments. If you liked this video, please go ahead and show me that by clicking the little thumbs up. And if you would like to stick around, I would love it if you subscribed. That's about it. Be well, loves. Bye.